Beat it. It's personal. Why do you think I would tell you? Now go! You have a chance to catch up with him. I... <sighs> my wounds. I've been poisoned. The brigands of the Beast Bog! Before he left me here, Yansang said that the brigand spearmen keep antidote on hand in case they accidentally poison themselves. But I don't think I can slay them myself. Thank you. Looks like you're doing something helpful for once, huh? I guess we could work together. Even though you made a huge mess of my life in the Cinderlands. Get me the antidote, and I'll tell you all about Yunsang. I have just enough energy to win stride back to rule outfitters. I'll wait for you there. <laughs> Outfitters? The last thing I remember... Oh, it's you. Whenever something terrible happens, there you are. I suppose I owe you my life or something. That's right. You saved me to get information on Yunseng. Well, at least you're not pulling any punches. Let's just say Yunseng and I have a... history. We were very much alike, Yunseng and I. Both of us are born leaders. We have very little patience for petty rules. And we are two of the best warriors this realm has ever seen. The bond between us was strong. We were, maybe are, very much in love. But even so, he kept his daughter a secret from me. That brute. All his poetic nonsense. And he had a child and probably another life that he never told me about. He was lying the whole time. And why? Why did he think I would care? Perhaps. But even so... I can't stand between the love of a father and his daughter. In my anger, I tried to drive the Lumang from the Cinderlands. I lost my eye for my trouble. Curse him! And after all that, he loses her. He must be frantic if he's resorting to kidnapping girls to find her. Yunwa was his daughter? Then, no. He has left me to die twice. I will have his head! So, did you come to see me triumph over Yunsang? Yu Chung will be here any minute to see my master plan in action. Like the hells I don't, he has torn apart Grand Harvest many times over, and I've been the only one left to pull it back together. No more! It ends now! We find Yun Wa guilty of treason and sentence her to immediate- Say hello to Yun Sen. I've come to collect my daughter. Hold on, my little songbird. I will free you from your cage. Yeah. Uh, don't hurt me! You are not my little Yanwa! No, she isn't. She's just a child from Grand Harvest Square. And now we have you, Yun Sang. You're under arrest! Soldiers! Bring him to me! You used my love for my sunshine, my songbird, against me? No matter. I will not fall before these weak-willed fools. They are like saplings bending in the wind, but I am a tempest. I will break them. Shut up! <laughs> Fools. He's not going down. Archer, fire at will. Jen Wong, it was a mistake to spare you before. the fury oh. 
I am not an evil man. Stand down and I will spare you. by some other so easily. Just don't die before I get my revenge. Hold my hand. Jan Wong's a decent soldier, but he's not exactly the brightest guy around. The plan to capture Yun Seng was flawed from the beginning, and his soldiers paid the price. And if you weren't there, we'd be talking about Jan Wong in the past tense. I always thought wandering warriors like you were more bluster than bite, but you are a fiend on the battlefield, my friend. I'm just glad you're on our side. Huh, and I've also never seen someone so damn focused. Outside of myself, that is. Finally got to file the We Got Yunseng report. Oh, that feels good. And I've asked that the blockade of Xiwei be lifted. Yep, as soon as you want. I'm sure the people of Sky Petal Plains will give you a hero's send-off, knowing what you did for them. And now that Yunseng is behind bars, I'll be heading back to Xiwei as well. Meet at the gates. I'll escort you into the city. They're under guard and soon to be escorted to the dungeon. You seem to know the lady. Feel free to speak to them if you wish. Don't see how it could hurt. And so it ends, warrior. Did you wish this upon me, the King of Thieves? It was necessary to tell me you had my songbird, when really all you had was some village crow? But if Yun was not here, then where is she? I have searched the mountains, the desert, the valley. She, like the sun, is gone, leaving me in eternal night. I should not have let her go. Every bird must take its first flight. She went to find treasure in the desert, and Jewel told me she found family instead. Her aunt, Yohara. But she must have found danger as well. Gil, my oldest friend, kin of my spirit. I thought he would protect her, but he is gone too. The fault rests in me. Do not try to console me, warrior. I have failed her. I deserve my fate to be bested by that golden-tongued dandy Yu Chun, and to be imprisoned, all for the love and loss of my daughter. Curse both of you. You were a fool for helping Jan Wong. And Yun Seng's a fool for falling for that obvious trap. And throwing himself in front of Yu Chun's swords? What did he think he was doing? Huh, I would have survived, 
And if Yun Sang wouldn't have so bravely gotten himself wounded, he could have taken out Yu Chun, and neither of us would be here. But his heart is in the right place. You, you're another matter. I will not forget this betrayal. You may get your revenge, but I will have mine, warrior. Remember that. Well met. Welcome to Zaiwei, heart of the Talus Dominion. You won't find better wines, wares, and women. Not bad, huh? Agreed. Once you get a little free time, take a look around. I'll speak with the authorities in the trade district. They'll roll out the carpets for you, not to mention their windstride points. I'd give you the tour, but I'm already late for a meeting with the Emperor's cabinet. Plus, they don't exactly pay me to butter up visitors. There's plenty of do-nothing royals for that. <laughs> Not much to say nowadays. The cabinet used to be important, but lately it amounts to the emissary droning on and on about the divine mandate nonsense. Yes, emissary Jin Soyun. She's been the Emperor's right hand for a decade. He can't blow his nose without her permission. Anyway, the government's giving me some award for apprehending Yun Tseng. I tried to explain that they should be giving it to you, not me, but hey, I like shiny things as much as the next guy. I like this response. We'll meet again, I promise. <laughs> Jump. Let me guess, you want weapons, right? I'm afraid I can't help you. We're kind of in a bind right now, and unless you want to be involved, go away. Look, pal, I said I'm not... Oh, hold on. Let me look at that. How did you come to have this? Shot at you and you survived? <laughs> Color me impressed. Okay, I can tell you who bought this, but first, I need you to help me. Agreed? Great. The big toe and his goons from the house society are shaking everyone down, threatening our lives if we don't pay their protection fee. They've even kidnapped some of my traitors. It's madness. I need you to go and free them. I do it myself, but unfortunately the key to the weapon rack was on one of my associates that was captured. So I need you to free my guys, then recover that key. You do that for me and I'll tell you what you want to know. That was... I can't express my gratitude enough. That should keep the house society out of my hair for a little while. Certainly long enough for me to be ready if they show up again. Oh yes, of course. The bullet case has markings that would have only come from a master gunslinger. The only one in Zyway would be the headmaster of the Iron Sights Academy. Ah, you must be the last one. Here are the rules of the Royal Martial Arts Championship. Pay close attention. Two fighters will compete at a time. The winner will continue to the next round. After the preliminaries, the last two battle in the finals. The winner of the final duel will be crowned the champion and given the opportunity to take their place as a royal bodyguard. The preliminaries consist of multiple duels. Now make your way to the preliminary arena and prepare for your first fight. You want the one from me? <laughs> The next challenger is a most remarkable warrior who has returned to reclaim his honor. Beware of Jit Quang. Let the battle begin. I'm gonna teach you a lesson, brother. The winner of this round has been decided. Ah. How did you best me? 
Your next opponent is the fiercest, most bloodthirsty warrior in the Snapjaw tribe. Prepare yourself for Iron Scale. Let the battle begin. <laughs> The winner of this round has been decided. Simply phenomenal. I have seen many warriors throughout this competition's history, but you are unlike anyone else. But do not rest just yet. You have one last match before the finals. If you prove yourself victorious here, you will secure your place in the finals. Now enter the arena and prepare to fight. No, I will not let you stop me from seeing Nam for you. Please try again later. The winner of this round has been decided. Honored to be faced by a descendant of the Doyen clan. The winner of this round has been decided. This was a mistake. Don't think you're better than me. She is silent as the wind and sharp as a razor. Beware the twisted serpent, Aknon. Let the battle begin. Honor the teaching of the twisted serpent. Please try again later. The winner of this round has been decided. I'd always heard the Hung Moon Arts were strong. Now I know. Fresh from blazing trails of bloodshed across the entire Talus Dominion, Tajin. Let the battle begin. I am Tajin, the son of Taewon, the Southern Tiger. Please try again. Round has been decided. I didn't expect to meet you here. It's good to see you again. But why are you competing? When I heard Nam so you was here, I could not sit idly by. I doubt she even understands how much danger she's really in being so near to Jin Sayan. Even after all she has done, she is still my daughter and my responsibility. The championship seemed the best way to get close to her and try to reason with her. Nam so you has done truly awful things, but it's not so easy to turn your back on one you've raised. If you ever have children or take on students, you'll understand someday. If I can just speak with her, I'm sure I can get her to see reason. I don't suppose you could forfeit the match for me. What is your reason for competing? I understand. I want to see her brought to justice as much as you do, but I can't back down. With palace security as it is, this may be my only chance to reach my daughter. I suppose matching our skills is the only way to reach a decision. Oh, you are not thinking of revenge. You cannot do that right now. Do not forget, Master Teacher. The winner of this round has been decided. Congratulations to you, brave warrior. You are the winner of this Royal Martial Arts Championship. As you know, the winner is privileged to a meeting with the Emperor in person. It is traditional to bow before the Emperor. Come this way. When Yu Chun spoke to me of the winner of the Martial Arts Championship, I knew it must be you. What are you doing here? I see. I'm afraid getting close to her will be no easy task. She has both the Emperor and the Royal Army in the palm of her hand. Jung Hado and I can be of little help to you while her spies watch our every step. 
A direct assault is impossible. However, if we were to catch her alone and unaware, far from the prying eyes of her servants, we might stand a chance. I know of a man who deals in many commodities, chief among them information. His station has emboldened him to engage in unsavory business opportunities. I speak of the Chancellor, Zhou Sangu. Captain Yu Chun would be well within his rights to pay the man a visit on the city guard's behalf. Yu Chun and Zhang Hado have been by my side since I was a girl. While Zhang Hado fought with me on the front lines for the Skyhaven resistance, Yu Chun managed our affairs in the capital. I had my reservations when you mentioned wanting to see the princess, but now I understand. You're the warrior who helped her in the Moonwater Plains. Zhang Hado accompanied Princess Yan Mafei to Moonwater while I got stuck in Zaiwei. Well, stuck's not the right word. You know what I mean. In any case, I've heard many stories about you. About the hero who aided the princess and her resistance. She's spoken quite highly of you. I also heard you have a bone to pick with Jin Soyan. Well, I'm picking that same bone. She's a threat to the Talus Dominion. If you want to take her down, I'm with you. But first, we gotta get close to her. And the only guy who knows where she is from day to day is Chancellor Zhou. I hate that guy. Doing this through formal channels would take forever, and it isn't exactly my style. Let's sneak into his estate and grab that lizard by the throat.